Quatro, 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 quatro. The mere mention of Edgar Blue Washington evokes thought and a curious smile, as he is undoubtedly one of the rarest of all Negro League treasures. Edgar Hughes Blue Washington, the 26th of February 1898 to the 15th of September 1970 was an American actor and baseball player who played in the Negro Leagues from 1915 to 1920 as a pitcher and first baseman. Washington was the son of Susie Washington and had three siblings. His family called him Biscuits, for he would often devour an entire pan of baked delights before his brothers and sister arrived home from school. He became a boxer at age 14 with the stage name of Kid Blue. He was given the nickname, Blue, by film director Frank Capra when both were kids. Frank Capra one of his best pals in the ethnically diverse surroundings of Lincoln Heights, East Los Angeles, and later one of the most powerful film directors in Hollywood during the 1930s and 40s. Blue was a playboy, for want of a better name. He liked the girls, bright lights, and so forth and he really put his heart and soul into it. Washington started his baseball career as a pitcher with the Chicago American Giants in 1915. He remained with Chicago in 1916. He later played with the Kansas City Monarchs in 1920, appearing in 24 documented Major League games. After baseball Washington honored his country and registered for the World War I draft. Prior to enlistment, he married 16-year-old Marion Lennon, from Kingston, Jamaica, who gave birth to their son, Kenneth Stanley Washington, on August 31, 1918. Kenny Washington eventually became a football legend, the first African American to play baseball at UCLA, the first Bruin player to be named an All-American and to have his number retired. His teammate, Jackie Robinson, described him as the greatest football player he had ever seen, adding that Kenny had everything needed for greatness, size, speed, tremendous strength, and was probably the greatest long passer ever. Kenny was the first black to reintegrate the National Football League, signing a contract to play professional football for the Los Angeles Rams in 1946. Edgar's younger brother Roscoe, Rocky, Washington holds the distinction of being the first black lieutenant on the Los Angeles Police Department. Rocky and his wife who also became Hollywood's first black licensed hairdresser raised Kenny while Blue traveled for his movie roles. He appeared in 74 films between 1919 and 1957, mostly playing small, uncredited roles as a porter, a bartender, and African natives. His debut movie was Haunted Spooks 1920. The action in Haunted Spooks centers around Harold's romantic problems. The film had a lot of racist humor in it, revolving mainly around the frightened black servants in the house showing then stereotypical behavior such as shaking knees and white eyes. One of the servants was even played by a white actor in blackface. One can even conclude that the film's title is a racist slur. He also appeared in Kiki, a 1931 American pre-code romantic comedy, starring Mary Pickford and Reginald Denny. He was also in Tarzan and the Slave Girl is a 1950 American adventure film directed by Lee Sholem and starring Lex Barker involves a lost civilization in Africa, a strange illness, and an evil counselor manipulating a prince into kidnapping large numbers of local women. As Blue Washington, he holds the distinction of being one of only two black cowboy sidekicks ever featured in B-Westerns, appearing opposite John Wayne in Haunted Gold, 1932. Blue could have been a star. At one point they gave him his own dressing room. Ellipsis. Blue was making $75 a day when guys were making $10, $15 a week. He'd get four or five days in, have $300 in his pocket and nobody would see him again until the money was gone. The Washington family was constantly looking for Blue because some director was holding up a production until he could be found. His final movies contain being in The Kid from Left Field, 1953, as train station porter, The Wings of Eagles, 1957, as bartender at Officers Club starring John Wayne and his final role in The Hustler, 1961, as limping attendant at Ames Billiards starring Paul Newman and Jackie Gleason. Edgar Hughes, Blue, Washington, 
died on September 15, 1970, at Mira Loma Hospital in Lancaster, California. He was laid to rest on September 18 at Evergreen Memorial Park, the oldest existing cemetery in Los Angeles. A single burial in a double grave plot became his eternal resting place. Beside him lies son Kenny, who died less than a year later, on June 24, 1971.